I don't know what's happening with network. Oh, can you imagine? Network in America. Okay. Okay, so I think um, we are back now. So please, if you can hear me, let me know you can hear me. I don't know why America is having network problem. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> okay, so for this year, 2023, the event will be coming up on uh, Friday, the 29th of September at the Sheraton Hotel. Um, so one of the things we noticed last year was, okay, good. So last year we had the sustainability summit last year and it was a one day event, but as the event was drawing near, we had a lot of people from outside Lagos that were contacting us that they wanted to come for the event. And we suddenly realized that in our planning, we did not factor in people that wanted to come from outside Lagos. And it was challenging for people to come for a one-day event and go back again. So, we had to quickly add um, a residential part to the event. So, for this year, 2023, we have made it a one-day fully residential event. So, it means that people that are coming can stay for the night and leave on Saturday. So, there is an opportunity for you to register to be a part of the event just for the day event, which starts from 8 a.m., to 5 p.m. But if you now want to stay for the fully residential version, you still to Saturday morning. And then for those that are going to be involved in the fully residential version, you have um, a, a dinner. We're going to have a coaching and mentorship dinner on Friday night. And then on Saturday morning, we have breakfast together. And then I have opportunity to be able to meet with um, you guys. So if you want to be a part of this event, it's coming up on Friday, the... 29th of September, and my guest for this year will be AY, the comedian, is going to be talking to us on how to build and sustain a personal brand, and then joining me also will be um, Morayo Afolabi Brown, uh, she's going to be talking on how to build and sustain a media platform, and I have some amazing things I'm going to be sharing with us this year. Number one, I'm going to be talking to us on understanding and playing your role as a business or organizational leader what are your roles many times when we employ people we give them job descriptions but what is your own job description as a ceo what is your own job description as a business owner because many times many of us self-sabotage because we don't even know that we are the ones responsible for the for some of the challenges that we face in business we're going to be looking at the major issue of staff recruitment and retention so there's going to be a staff recruitment and retention masterclass, and I'm going to be talking to us on how to recruit and retain your workforce because the people that work with you determines the success of your business. They're going to be giving you a lot of documents that can help you to be able to you know, help your organization with reference to staffing and building the right team because many times your staff and the team that you have can determine the success or otherwise of your business. They are going to be looking into corporate governance, how you can position your business for sustainability through corporate governance. So joining me tonight will be two um, amazing people. They were part of the uh, sustainability summit for last year. And every Tuesday, we're going to be bringing um, uh, people that were part of last year to just come and share their experience with us. So we're going to be having... Um, uh, the CEO of Legal City, 
um, Mrs. Omola Bake will be joining me. And then we have the CEO of Gen Photos, Mrs. Falashade. She will also be joining me. So let me see if they are um, on the broadcast already. And then I can bring them in to join uh, so that we can begin to learn. Okay, so Gen Photo Masters. Okay, so uh, we need a little. Uh, okay gen photo masters um i'm being told that you will need the latest version of uh it says gen photo master will need the latest version of instagram to join so if you can help work on that uh so let me look for mrs omola back here, um and then bring her on board okay going to be joining me yes i can, I can see you. i've sent you an invite um so i'm expecting you to come on board yes so <laughs> okay you need to turn oh wow <laughs> how are you doing today, good evening good evening sir good evening wow. <laughs> good evening how are you i'm good though it's nice to have you live on yes the live <laughs> Wow. How are you, sir? How's America? I'm very good. We are, we are just, um, we are on mission, vacation mission. So it's back mission. <laughs> we, are looking, we are looking forward to everything. Yes. December, everything. We are looking forward yes. to everything together. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Ooh. Yes. 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 We are. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Time out to join us. Um, mm. So, um gen masters let me know when you are back and what andu you are using if you are using the same andu so that i can invite you in so um we're talking about the business sustainability summit for this year and you were part of the first edition last year so i'd like you yes. to just introduce um, yourself to our audience um what you do at legacy let them get to know what you do and then we will now go into the um, discussion of your experience last year. So let's get to meet you and what Legacy City is all about. Good evening, everyone. And thank you so much for this amazing opportunity, sir. I don't take it for granted and I'm, I'm humbled to be here. And thank you so much for the good works that you are doing all around. We're proud of you, sir. So my name is... My name is Labake Adetumbi. I'm the MD CEO of Legal Properties, Legal City, and then Legal Properties. I'm a lawyer and um, a real estate broker. I've been a lawyer for about 30 years and a real estate broker for about 10 years. I, I'm, I, I actually help build um, investment portfolios for people above the ages of 45 and above who are just getting into the real estate uh, market and feel that maybe it's a bit too late but um i may i give them um ideas on what to do and how to get into the market at this point in time and um i'm a mom and what else that's it and i'm just a broker <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you for joining us so last year you were part of the business sustainability summit and i remember you very well because of some <laughs> some revelations that were coming out as a result of your experiences and all the stuff. So talk to us about the last year summit. How did you get to know about the summit? Why did you decide to pay and attend? And what was your experience like? So today, tonight is bittersweet for me, sir. Tonight is bittersweet because two people made me come for the summit. And as usual, they always drag me into everything good. One of them, unfortunately, is dead now. Bolanle, my darling. Wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and of course, Ari, and um, all of us came as a group. We all came, we always go together as a group. And they had attended quite a number of your programs. And they kept on saying, Madam Labake, you are missing, you are missing. And then, in any case, we've put your name down, you must come and you must check. And I was like, I don't know these people. And, she, and Bonali and I mean, they were quite insistent, gift, you know, all those people. And so they, they literally like 
dragged me. And um, from the moment we started Model One, when we talked about the um, um, the um, realities of today's market, the VUCA, when we talked about VUCA, the volatile, uncertain, and um, complex and ambiguous, you know, those kind of things. From the moment you we started the first session, you got me. Because um, every, in actual fact, everything you said then is happening now. The realities of the marketplace, we, everything you taught us is what we are using in today's marketplace. The, vol the volatility, the uncertainty, the complexities and, and the ambiguous nature, especially of the Nigerian market. But it was, it was very uplifting for me. And I remember that I told you that um, where were you? Did I say 10 years ago when my first business failed? <laughs> I said, why, why, did, why didn't I know you before? Because, I, I, I'm, I'm, because I'm a lawyer, I, I, I run a company called Legal City, and we sell robes and legal, legal apparel to lawyers and judges. And at the peak at that time, I think we had about six shops. I remember I told you my story. And due to everything you taught us in that, um, in that business sustainability that I didn't do, the business actually um, started going on a downward spiral. And I remember telling you that, why, why, why didn't I know you before I made all the mistakes and everything? And I, and I remember that you took me on, on a journey, and it was really awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So um, if you are listening to us right now, we're talking about the Business Sustainability Summit because on the 29th of this September, that's next month, 29th of September, we're going to be having the 2023 edition. And um, if you'd like to be a part of that, then you need to call the numbers on the screen to register. And um, you can register for the residential version or the non-residential version. Very, very important. Let me see if Gen City is back. Um, so, Paul Mark, help us look into how we can sort out Gen City, uh, let me see if uh, still saying the same thing, or let me know if there's any other Andu they can use to join so that we can get our on board. So the meeting is coming up on Friday, the 29th of September. So if you are listening to me right now, you'd like to be a part of that meeting, just contact the numbers on the screen so that we can give you all the details so that you can register to be a part of it. It's an affordable event. Um, Registration for the fully residential is 500,000. For non residential, it is 400,000. And um, so you can take advantage of that. But there's a discount going on right now, but I'm not going to mention um, the discounts here. So if you are serious, you make the call. And then when you make the call, that's when they will tell you about the discount. So I'm just going to talk to you about the full price because the discount window expires actually today and um, that's why i'm not going to be mentioning the discounts when you call the numbers on the screen they will now tell you the discounts and uh, what i've asked them to do is that when people call that are serious minded and are ready to be a part of it they will now tell you how long you have to be able to still take advantage of the discounts so it's five hundred thousand for fully residential five hundred thousand covers for um, the entire conference. Um, so you're going to have breakfast, lunch, dinner. We're going to have a dinner session, the hotel accommodation. If you're coming from outside Lagos, we'll pick you at the airport. If you're within Lagos, we won't pick you. You'll pick yourself. <laughs> and then breakfast on Saturday morning. We also have a breakfast session on Saturday morning just to have um, an amazing time together. But if you are coming just for the main event, you don't want to stay in the hotel, then that will be 400000 so call the numbers on the screen and they will take you from there. So now, um, so last year you were part of the event and I know you have registered for our trip to Jerusalem this year. And um, so I want to find out between last year and now, how has the event of last year assisted you on your own journey? Fantastic. Um, you know, there was everything, like you actually believe that, you literally were being very prophetic last year because um, a lot of things that happened 
um, this year in Nigeria. You kind of, I think the business sustainability prepared me for this year. And um, I remember one of the things, when you were talking about 20 reasons why business failed and positioning ourselves for growth, there was something that you said that I took um, to heart. And I literally practiced it this year when everybody was panicking and not sure what was going to go on in Nigeria. I remember that you said that when we are positioning for growth, and that really has helped me even in these times, and you said that there has to be uh, major areas. The spiritual growth was number one for you, and um, the um, emotional growth and physical growth and everything. But you said that we should always have set aside time to get out of the environment and not to be too busy that we will never be able to set ourselves apart. And you, you actually suggested, I think you said the first three days of every month, yeah. we should just kind of go for a, a retreat. And I remember that this was one of the key things that I took and um, took with me, especially when going into this year. It, it, and because you had, we had kind of positioned, you had said that we should, we should have a, a, a long-term goal and we should stop seeing things from the earth perspective but should always kind of keep rising up so that we'll be able to see things, position ourselves for globalization, for the global thing from, we should stop thinking local to global. But in doing that, you must actually be able to remove yourself from the crowd, to be able to see, have a bird's eye view of what was going on. And I took that, and I remember that this was very fundamental. There was a lot of things you said last year, and actually even the one-on-ones that we had. And I remember that this year, when everything was looking so for the for the and not really looking attractive <laughs> i you know i just took that retreat and um i went out i just separated myself it, it retreats are not even expensive you know i thought i need to have to have a lot of money and by the time i came back after the three days i remember when you said just set yourself aside i was just declaring into this new dispensation just declaring and declaring so by the time i was coming back from that retreat i remember that the night the morning after i slept off and when i woke up the morning i was leaving the retreat they had announced the presidential elections at 4 a.m mm. so as i was coming back i was like i had peace i just no matter what was going on because i had set because you had talked about setting aside i kind of had peace so when that that was what had actually positioned me for this year and everything you said as far as i'm concerned i've already settled it with god mm. and the spiritual like you said is the is most important if you are going to do business especially not only i mean especially in this terrain this night i mean nigeria you can't do business you either you, you said we're either doing it for cult or for god i mean there was you said we yeah. should pick uh, this uh, side secret place <laughs> Or uh -huh. secret our secret court. <laughs> That's it. So I took that away, and um, it's very expensive to do the other one. But this one, the one, the one I know, is easier to do. <laughs> and um, it, it basically, you were kind of just preparing us. You are preparing all of us. We didn't even know one of us was going to die at that point in time. Yeah. So, it, and you were talking about what happens. So if there's if somebody and we didn't even think it would, I wasn't even listening at that point. I was like, who can uh, what can happen? But it happened, and um, I just said, I just thank God that I took that away, and it has actually helped me in in this year. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Uh, Photo Master yeah. Jen, I think you come in with Photo Master Jen. I've sent you an invite. Um, so let's see if that's gonna work, or you send me an invite. And then we'll take it from there. So um, many times, a lot of people, when they hear an event that they have to pay for, they sometimes think that it's expensive. But one of the things you need to always consider is the cost of ignorance and the cost of making mistakes that are avoidable mistakes. And yeah. uh, I want everyone listening to us right now to make those calls. Those phone numbers are available if you call and you are not getting through, send the message, send the WhatsApp chat. They will get back to you to say, look, I am interested. He's saying Photo Master Jen is unable to join. I don't know what's still the issue. Um, so technical people, technology people, help us out. Me, I'm not, uh, me, I'm old school. <laughs> so 
um, many people don't know that they need to invest in themselves and the amount don't you are, come in, no. the amount you are willing to spend on yourself um, shows how important you value yourself it shows the value you place on yourself especially because of this year so if you are a businessman you are a businesswoman you own a business out of everything i'm going to be sharing this year there are two major reasons why you need to be there number one is staff recruitment and retention staff can key your business yeah. i'm telling you if you don't know how to handle these people so and the materials in fact in the last two months i've had to deal with about three different organizations where the staff left and went to start the same business in the same location another one the staff left and went to the competitor and started sabotaging them but there are a lot of documents that you'll have signed non-competes none so but many people don't even know that this document exists they don't they are not aware and these are all the things i'm going to be making available to you i'm going to be showing all the documents a lot of people have staff there's no employment letter there's no contract letter a lot of people have you know you send people on, on courses you spend millions of people you don't you, they don't sign any documents so all these things will be shown to you another reason why you need to be there is because of corporate governance a lot of businesses are run as a one-man business yeah. and because we run it as a one-man business there's no system there's no structure there's no corporate governance so it affects how far we can go and those are some of the things i'm going to be sharing with you this year and you need to be a part of this meeting. 500,000 for an entrepreneur to come and spend the whole day fully residential is not too much. And if say you need discount, then call the numbers. By the time you call, it shows that you are serious. Then they will tell you the discount that is available and the timeline that you have. And if you don't want to be fully residential, um, mm -hmm. it's 400,000. But if you call the number, they will also tell you the discount opportunity that is available. So I want to talk. I want, to, I want us to talk about um, the importance of money. So now you paid for last year. Um, you have even paid for Jerusalem, and I believe you are coming again for this year. So now, um, how important is it for people to pay for events? And what do you have to say to people that feel that oh, what am I going to learn? Because you know, like you said, they dragged you there, but now you have you are in fact. You are part of the first set of people that pay for Jerusalem. So I'm like, okay, they are paying for Jerusalem on December since January. Okay. I even brought so I even brought people. I even came. I'm coming with people. I even ah. brought someone. Yeah. So, so talk to people <laughs> she's on. Are, she's here. Yeah. She's so here. Talk to people about the importance of you know taking advantage of this kind of event. Why they should attend this event for this year normally for me i just like i want to tell you something sir i always i have a budget every year for learning because um if you don't if you don't keep learning you will stagnate that is the truth and um, i think yours is probably the least i've ever paid I've, I've paid for learning especially because the industry i'm in is a very volatile and competitive one and you can actually become irrelevant and you can actually make costly mistakes if you are not very careful and i know that i'm positioning myself for for growth i i, I don't see myself here my five-year plan is already I mean, is already set at the same time i can't do it alone and i need there, there's a level i get to that i know that i must have knowledge the bible says um, seek knowledge get wisdom get understanding and in all you're getting I remember that and what i what i what i do is that we that i must consistently be learning and i must consistently be improving myself and um because you are also in the industry that i'm in is is nice for me to sit down at the seat of at the feet of masters and say and learn from your successes and learn from your failures because i remember when you were telling us how to fail forward i mean some some words that i would not normally um no, on the normal that we don't want me to be using. I'll probably use it in a in a negative manner. Was what you use in a positive dimension, and I believe that there's so much I'm learning from you. Even people just by virtue of listening to your your Instagram live sessions and your church ministrations alone, already know that you've got wealth of knowledge. So initial, it wasn't even about about the money coming when I wanted to come because. I know that Bolanle and all the people, they, they keep coming. It was literally like, it was as if there was an in thing. 
I, I used to call them the in cloud. I said, ah, drag me in, I beg now. I mean, what are you learning under this man? That And every time they come out of it, they were becoming better in the same field. They were now becoming top realtors. So, and it just took me that one semester with you. And I'm almost like, at least humbly, among them there. Yeah. So, so, whatever they were secretly stealing from you, I came to eat at the table as well. So I believe that um, in all our getting, there's the free one. I mean, there's free, there's free information all over the internet and all that. But there's the wisdom and knowledge that we can only learn and glean from the feet of masters. And it doesn't, when you pay for something, you value it. You wouldn't want to miss it. You would actually pay, when you pay some for something, that is the premium you are even attaching to what you are doing. If you are in the business for life, then you must actually, we pay school fees, we pay all the all the best universities. Why can't we say that? It's supposed to be free now. Knowledge is free. After all, there's also, uh, go to the free schools now. There's free secondary school. There's a um, premium secondary school. And there are free universities and there's the premium, premium, premium. The Harvards and all that. So it depends on your, your level and what you want to learn. It's not even something that we should be trying to convince people about for me i mean i know that's nigeria i mean i don't say nigeria is tough because for me it's not it's going to be okay but you let you taught us how to exist in this in this kind of weather and so it's no longer difficult to exist and keep growing keep innovating which was what you kept on saying we didn't even know that things would get to this level but you have taught us to keep innovating what if i didn't know that what if i didn't come at that time and you had taught me all these things how would I have been able to navigate all this terrain? Yes, as a Christian, there's some things I will learn, but it's not everything. So I still believe that one should always pay a premium. I mean, put a premium on your learning. I have a budget for it every year. And just like we always have a budget for rent, budget for food, budget for things, I, I, I always have a budget for learning. And yeah. that was one of the first people to pay for Jerusalem. Wow, that's amazing. So um, thank you very much. It's been amazing. I don't know what's happening with Jen Master. We need to have you on board to, to hear your story and hear from you. So if you are listening to us right now or you are just joining us, we have been talking about the Business Sustainability Summit 2023 coming up on Friday, the 29th of September. Friday, 29th of September at the Sheraton Hotel, Lagos, Ikeja. Um, is in Kenya, Lagos. So if you are coming from anywhere in the country, you are welcome to be a part of this. It's fully residential. The registration is just 500,000 Naira only. And um, for those that want to do the non-residential version, it's 400,000. Now, for non-residential, uh, the 400,000 covers for the entire event, your uh, tea break, and then buffet lunch. And then it will be from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m and you will be able to attend all the sessions during the day session. But for those that are fully residential, there are only three things that are different from those that are residential. Now, if you are fully residential, number one, it means that you are staying in the hotel on Friday night to live on Saturday, so the hotel is added. Number two, there's going to be a dinner. So those that are non-residential will close by five. So between 5 and 7, there will be two hours break for you to go and relax. Then 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., we're not going to have a dinner event, which is going to be more, more like a mentorship and coaching dinner for those that are fully residential. So that will be the second thing that you get as a fully residential delegate. The third thing is that on Saturday morning, we're going to have breakfast session where you can now come mm -hmm. meet with me one-on-one -on, -one mm -hmm. on Saturday morning. So if you are part of the fully residential crowd, then the third thing you get is that one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, meeting that we have on Saturday morning, and then you check out and go. So 500000 is not too much for any serious-minded investor to pay, and we have just limited slots available. So call the numbers on the screen, and there's a discount that is expiring today, and that's why I'm not mentioning the discount. The discount expires today, um, and in Nigeria right now, it's already tonight, so it has, it's going to be expiring by 12 midnight Nigerian time. So I don't want to mention the price so that people will not listen to this tomorrow and begin to think that the discount is still available. But if you are serious about attending 
then call those numbers. They will now offer you the discount verbally on phones, knowing fully well that you have made a call. They will get your contact detail. That means you are serious. So make those calls today. We are available. Make those calls. If you are not getting through, send the text, send the WhatsApp, and say, look, I'm interested. This is my name. Get back to me. I will get back to you. And they will now offer you the discount so that I will give you a window to make the payments. So take advantage of it, and you'll be glad you did. So well, I need to release you. Um, give us your final word. What will be your final word to everyone? And then I'll just answer a few questions and then we'll be closing. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> my final word to everyone is that at the time when I came into the program, there was something very, um, very deep that you spoke about. And that is how a leader should um, act in terms of crisis. And that was um, that we need to be, we need to go into scenario planning and and how to keep afloat and all that and um i want to appreciate you for that because um in the midst of what is going on i keep saying it that you kind of whatever we learned whatever what we sat down and learned in those two days i think plus the saturday i think i waited i didn't want to wait for breakfast i changed my mind and i waited for breakfast i want to i just want to appreciate that for you because there were so many things that you taught me about um keeping retention of staff that has helped helped my business today and then um, planning the next you know we're now at that point okay what is the next thing to do but you've been able to help us navigate all that and i want to appreciate you for that because all of us that have actually been coming to that that's joined the business sustainability i see a trend amongst all of them you are kind of we're all coming to you as when David was in the cave of Adulan and beggars and debtors and all those people, and you were turning everyone on, and he turned all of them to giants. So we're all coming to you like, we yes, we know, but we're not really sure of what we know. And you're kind of molding and helping us to become better people. So thank you so much for that. It's been an amazing journey. Yeah. I haven't even seen you. <laughs> I haven't seen you, but that's one of the things that you have taught us. I mean, how to just keep going with or without you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Let me release you to go. God bless you. Thank so, you, sir. Uh, anyone that has a question, I'm still here for the next 16 minutes. So if you have any question, you can send in your question now so that I can answer your question. I think someone was asking about those that are in diaspora. Um, this is a fully residential event. There is no virtual session. So if you are in diaspora, the last year's edition is now available, the manual, the pack. It's available so you can get a copy of last year's version. And then this year's edition, too, we're going to edit it. And the manual and the pack will also be available. Um, so any question, if you have any question for me, let me know. And then uh, let me see if um, Photogen Master, uh, I don't know what happened today. We need to do this again. Oh. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. My sister, let me right, leave you to go. Yeah, bye. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Uh, uh, so, any question? If you have a question, feel free to send me your question now uh, so that I can answer your question. And please don't forget the phone numbers are on the screen. Call those numbers. Uh, let me look if we have any question that have been sent. So if you have any question, uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. I'm not seeing any question here, so that means um, we're good. Uh, um, Please, how much is the School of Money book? Uh, School of Money book in Nigeria is 30,000. In America, it's $50. In London, it's 30 pounds. So call those numbers on the screen, and then you'll be able to get the books also. Wherever you are in the world, that's the price. 30,000 in Nigeria, $50 in America, 30 pounds in London. Uh, any other question? 
So this year, Business Assembly Summit, I'm going to be taking five sessions. And then uh, AY will be taking one session. Moriah will be taking one session. So AY will be speaking on how to build a, your personal brand. Uh, please, can we order for the School of Money book on Amazon? No, you can only order it on olumideimanuel.org. So go to my personal website, olumideimanuel.org. And then you'll be able to get it. Um, so AY will be taking a session on how to build your personal brand. Moriah will be taking a session on how to build a media platform and sustain it. And then, uh, so if you want the School of Money Book, just call those numbers. We have offices in London. We have offices in um, South Africa, in Australia, in Italy. We have office in Houston, New York, Atlanta, we have salespeople in Maryland, in Ohio. Just call and we'll let you know how to get it. Thank you, sir, for this session. Even if I don't have money to attend the class, I've been blessed. Yeah, no problem. Um, go to my YouTube channel. Uh, follow, me on face uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Go to my YouTube channel. There are a lot of free materials that are there. Just keep watching the videos and utilizing what you learn. And they will help you to become um a better version of yourself and then paying for an event like this will not be an issue so don't worry it's always a process we all started from somewhere so if you cannot afford it today you can afford it tomorrow god bless you any other question so i'm going to be sharing on understanding and playing your role as a business or organizational leader just to let you know what your roles are i'm going to be sharing with you on the staff recruitment and retention strategy very very powerful that's I'm telling you what I'm going to be sharing with you. <laughs> oh, my God. And then I'm going to be giving you a catalog of vital documents that can help protect you. Um, oh, Stephen, that's good. Thank you. So go to my YouTube channel. There are many videos there, free, just to help you. And then corporate governance. Corporate governance. Uh, how to start, set up your own board. You know, we have statutory board. We have board of advisors. We have, you know, all kinds of things. I'm telling you, please, how much is the attendance fee? I just joined the live. It's 500000 for the fully residential, 400000 for the non-residential version. The date is Friday, the 29th of September, and it's at Sheraton Hotel, Lagos, Nigeria. So, But there's a discount that is available, and the discount closes today. So if you are really serious, call those numbers, and they will let you know how you can still benefit from the discount but i cannot mention the discount here because by the time you are watching this it's most likely going to be um expiring so uh, make sure that you um take advantage of this opportunity i'm going to be putting this video on igtv and then this video will also be put on uh, my youtube channel so that you can go back and watch the video uh, we're supposed to have two guests today. Uh, unfortunately, we, we, I think we have um, an issue with um, the platform from the other guests. So we're going to still bring her on board. So um, next week, Tuesday, I'm going to bring in other people to join. So every Tuesday, we're just going to be doing this just to let people know about this conference. And then next month, we're going to do a lot of sustainability secrets you know, Insta Live, just to let you know the importance of sustainability, because most businesses don't transcend, uh, they don't transcend uh, beyond the uh, people that started it. So a lot of businesses are first generation businesses, and then they die in the first generation. So we're going to be giving you information that will help you to build a transgenerational business that will be sustained beyond you. And I'm telling you, it's an opportunity you cannot afford to miss. So copy the numbers on the screen. The date, again, is um, Friday the 29th. Friday the 29th of September. Friday the 29th of September, uh, 8 a.m. All the way to uh 5 p.m for the non-residential and then for fully residential i'll be there we'll do an evening session night dinner session on friday and then have a breakfast chats on saturday morning um okay 
So I think um, that's most likely what we're going to be stopping today. Let me see if there's another question. Are the question? Uh, let me see. Are there questions here? Yeah, no questions. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay. So a lot of people are asking for for me to invite them to join. If we start doing that now, we may not close up. Hmm. So I'm seeing so many requests. My people are asking to join. So Taya is asking to join. Taya is asking to join. Which of you wants to join? Both of you together, only one person. Are you sure you are ready to join? Hmm. Because that can start another session. <laughs> <laughs> so the date again is Friday Friday the 29th of September and the venue is Sheraton Hotel Ikeja so take advantage of it okay, let me view this request again so let me see maybe I should bring one person and here uh, um Okay. I'm sure this one, this network issue is not my own network. Uh -huh. That's not my own network. <laughs> my network has had, I've had his own, his own challenge. So I have a Ogedeng Bay, DG. Okay, let me accept that one and see who is there. Uh, let's hear from the architect whether his question he wants to ask or contribution. I have six minutes, so let's see. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, so God bless you all. It's been an amazing time. So I'm going to put this on IGTV, like I said, and I'm also going to put it on, um, on my YouTube channel. So please note those phone numbers. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. So... Young Gold, you push, you come for this seminar, all the board of Young Gold, you come and do sustainability summits. <laughs> so, okay, so business sustainability is Friday 29th um, of September. So call, call those numbers and then they will talk to you about the discount offer. God bless you all. Um, so next week, Tuesday, we'll do it again. Bye for now.